What's up viewers, Sean Hutsmith here. Today we're in Changi Exhibition Center in Singapore and we're gonna be reviewing the incredible 1,000 horsepower Ferrari SF90 Stradale. So this is Ferrari's first proper hybrid. The LaFerrari wasn't really a hybrid because you couldn't drive it in pure electric mode. The electric motor worked more like a Kerr system, but this is a real hybrid. So for example, if I start it up now, that's the engine on. It's so weird sitting in a Ferrari and not having any engine sound. So now I'm in electronic mode. So that means only the um, electronic motors are working. So there's one electric motor for each wheel and one above the transmission. And when you drive the car in um, electric mode only, it's only front wheel drive. When, however, I go to performance mode, hear that? So now the V8 turbo combustion engine has kicked in and we have the performance of that lovely engine. And here in qualifying mode, when I touch on the steering wheel, now we have 1000 horsepower at our disposal. So now, I wanna see what the car can really do. So I'm gonna put the car into race mode. I'm gonna put the car into manual mode. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. so hard not to laugh because your camera was going... Hold oh, okay. now I know why they say that. Yeah, you can't mount stuff in the car. <laughs> Is this how, how, how it's like when you're racing? No, more. More? More. Oh, okay, now I'm just going to cool down. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say a big thank you to my title sponsor, East Coast Podiatry. They are a specialized clinic in Singapore for incredibly fast and effective treatments. I really wanted to have them as my team podiatrist as they have been keeping me pain-free so that I can perform at my best. When I broke my ankle, they handled my post-op treatment and it was just amazing. This was like the ultimate test. I had to recover from a broken ankle in a matter of weeks, so they were pressed for time working against the clock. They went all out like a pit crew and they did different types of high intensity treatment just to get me back on track as quickly as possible. After my first surgery, I could race, but I still couldn't run. Nearly five months later, I had a second surgery to remove the metal work which they put in the first time. However, I was still in too much pain to be able to run. Then I flew back to Singapore and after just a few weekly treatments at East Coast Podiatry, I was able to run again for the first time in nearly six months. They really made such a huge difference for me. I have personally recommended my own parents and my friends to go and see them. So if you're looking for a clinic which is absolutely world-class at treating foot, ankle, knee, and general leg issues, East Coast Podiatry is one that you can really depend on. Now back to the car. So the car is uh, default in automatic mode when you start it up. So I'm just driving around nice and calm. It's very, very smooth, very, very easy to drive. Um, it's comfortable. There's a cool head up display with the speed. And this car is very special because it's almost like a one-off. Even though it's not limited, it's not replacing any model. So it was made specially uh, to celebrate Ferrari's 90 years uh, in Formula One. So SF90, Scuderia Ferrari 90, Novanta, 90 years of Ferrari F1. So it's got a very similar human machine interface as the uh, Roma, the same sort of touchpad steering design. The same Cancelletto gear selector, which is really, really nice design. It's sort of inspired by the original open gate hatch pattern manuals of the Ferraris in the past. I have a 16 inch curve cluster in front of me, which I can change to full GPS mode. I can change it to just see the RPM counters, and I can change it back to the standard sort of yellow Ferrari dial, the traditional, but it's all a digital display. So then I've got my G sensor, I've got my uh, tire pressures, temperatures, my navigation, fuel load, everything I need. So this car will do not to 60 miles an hour, so not to 100 kilometers an hour in only 2.5 seconds. And the 
first time I tried launch control with this car, it was the most amazing feeling because the way the car gets off the line with the four-wheel drive, I, can, I felt the blood leaving my face. So I actually felt the blood leaving my eyeballs and my eyes went blurry for a split second and then it came back and it was absolutely incredible. I drove it in the UK on the Mile Strait in, um, in Millbrook, the famous proving ground where they rolled the Aston Martin in Casino Royale. So in terms of top speed, the SF90 will top out at around 340 kilometers an hour, 1,000 brake horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. The dimensions, like it's actually quite a narrow car. It's less than two meters and it weighs around 1,600 kilos dry. So without any fluids like fuel and brake fluid and everything like that. Curb weight realistically is around 1,750. But honestly, when you're driving it around, it feels like it could be 1,300. It just feels so light and nimble. Uh, the direction change is incredible. The downforce is amazing. The rear wing is active, so it works in the same way as Formula One DRS. Um, so above a certain speed, the flap in the rear wing comes up to increase downforce and help braking as well. We also have an awesome sound system, a JBL, but if I owned this car, I don't think I would ever use it because uh, you have this incredible symphony behind you. And I find in this, you actually hear the turbos even more, uh, probably because it's a mid-engine car. So compared with the Roma and the Portofino, for example, you have the turbos right behind you and it sounds just incredible. I mean, obviously you lose some of the sound with the turbo uh, compared to maybe the naturally aspirated Ferraris, but it's just become so much more fun to drive now, so much more entertaining. And it just feels like I'm driving a Formula One car. The air conditioning is good, even though it's so hot outside, I'm really, really comfortable. Even though we're driving in sports seats, I'm very, very comfortable here as well. The visibility is good. Um, we have rear view cameras as well, so it's, it is a usable car. It's not just about performance. I would use it more of a sort of weekend car, but I think it's definitely something very, very special and very, very usable at the same time. I love this interior. I love the quality of the stitching. Uh, the carbon fiber, this car is really, really nice spec. So we have the shift lights on the steering wheel. We have the long carbon paddles. It's beautiful. The touchscreen works very, very well. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I activated voice control once by accident because I pressed it, but there is actually a way to turn off all this touchpad in the settings so you don't end up accidentally pressing it um, when you're driving. So this car also has a new dual clutch eight speed gearbox. So it's similar to the one that's in the uh, Portofino M, the new Portofino Modificata and the Roma. And it's such a good gearbox. It's so smooth, um, especially at low speeds. It's not jerky. Um, at high speeds, it sort of adapts to your driving style. So the more aggressive or enthusiastically you drive, the faster the change is. It's a nice pop when you pull the pedal. Ratios are shorter compared with a seven-speed gearbox. Basically, that just means more acceleration, more driving pleasure, a better experience. It just makes it a lot more fun to drive. But also with the addition of the eighth gear, uh, now you have um, better fuel economy when you're driving on the highway. So it's a win-win for sure. The other difference compared with uh, the other current Ferrari V8, so for example, the F8 or the Roma or the Portofino M, they are all 3.9 liter V8s. The SF90 is a four liter uh, V8 with new mechanical components, different uh, software management. So even though in essence it's the same engine, it's, uh, it's still um, very, very different and tailored to this car. But this Ferrari V8 is just an incredible piece of kit. You know, it's, it's no wonder they've won engine of the year with the Ferrari V8 turbo for the last five consecutive years. And most recently, the drivetrain as well. Uh, it's just such a peach. I think it's one of the best things about the car for sure. Wow, what an incredible day. Uh, one of the most amazing cars I've ever driven, easily the fastest. Um, I want to thank my sponsors for the support uh, and for the opportunity. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below on what Ferrari you want me to review next, and uh, stay tuned.